Recently, I interviewed for SD2 roles at some of the top tech companies like Google, Amazon, DoorDash, Databricks, Stripe, Uber, Rippling, and many more. Got couple of offers, got rejection from others, and learned a lot along the way. In this video series, I am going to walk you through my journey, what went well, what went wrong, and costed me the offer, my preparation strategy, my compensation insights, and a lot more. If you're preparing for SD2 role and are just trying to understand how these company hire, you are at the right place. Let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before moving forward, if you are new to the channel, do subscribe because a lot more interesting videos are lined up. In this video, I am going to share my SD2 interview experience at DoorDash India. Many folks doesn't know that DoorDash has offices in India also. Uh, one is located in Pune and they are actively hiring across all the fields. DoorDash is a very known company in US for their engineering excellence, for their culture and most important about their pay because they generally beat offer from Meta, Snapchat and other companies in USA. Is it the same case in India? Let's figure it out. Watch the video till the end. So the process gets started in December 2024 when I saw opening in their portal and I reached out to one of their employee for the referral. And it was like three months silence. On the February 2025, recruiter reached out to me. Hiring manager liked your profile. Do you want to move forward? If you want to move forward, just fill out this form. And that form contains detail about your work experience, your impact that you created. Do you have any competing offer? And what is the compensation that you're looking for? So yeah, my profile gets shortlisted and recruiter reach out to me that we are moving forward with you and informed me that you have to go through one screening round, which will be coding round. Once you clear that screening round, you will be part of interview loop. And in that interview loop, you will be having four rounds which are the two typical coding rounds similar to screening. One will be system design and another will be hiring manager round. Before moving to the screening rounds and other rounds, I went through lead code discuss section to understand what DoorDash actually ask and how much difficulty level they generally ask and I was literally shocked. In my coding screening round, I expected it to be a medium, medium to hard, but I got DP hard question and it included two question. Like one was the main problem, other was the follow up and you have to actually code both the solution need to provide the time complexity of that. That is the minimum criteria to qualify actually. They completed both the parts and 15 minute and last 10 minute uh, we had a discussion about the culture of DoorDash and after a few days recruiter reached out to me that you are qualified for interview loop. Let's talk about the interview loop. So the first two uh, rounds were related to coding similar to screening and as I told difficulty level was hard, typically hard. I cannot tell the exact questions because I have signed the NDA. Generally they focus more on dynamic programming and most of the question it was focused to understand it properly because the answers require more than utilization of more more than one data structure in one of the question require around dp plus binary search just try to think like in one hour you have to complete two parts and you have to code them both to qualify and generally the rounds happen in the night because the interviewer are from the usa you have to manage time accordingly third round which happened was hiring manager round so in this whole interview process i really liked their hiring manager round because hiring manager was very chill and it doesn't feel like it is an interview. It feel like it's a, just a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And we talked about the team, its culture. He asked me question around the leadership, collaboration skills, mentorship, and what project I have actually done, its impact, and about my achievements and all. And it went really well. I can literally see through his response that I'm selected till now. One of the most important round that was remaining was system design and domain knowledge round. Because as per I checked with lead code, discuss section, checked with recruiter and other employees. This round was the most important because all the other candidates are getting rejected in this round. When you talk about domain knowledge round, so this round actually consists of like 75 minutes. First 30 minutes is breakdown to explaining your previous company project, what you are working on, about its designing, about its trade off, what are the collaboration you did with the other team, what is your individual contribution, and how much impact did you created in your previous company for this project. Once we discuss over that, we jumped in the last 45 minute to a system design round and it is typically similar to other system design round in other companies itself. Interviewer gave me a simple problem statement. It's like two words only. For example, design Twitter, design book my show. And now it's my job to figure out what are the functional requirements, what are the non-functional requirements its capacity estimation, API designing, entities, and design. Here I would like to call out that you should be on a similar case to the interview of in regarding to functional and non-functional requirements. 
interface should be aligned to you completely on that so i followed this flow only uh, once i completed the functional requirements non functional requirements i went through functional requirements and based on that i created the api designs and its entities and i created the basic structure of design first for like around 10k users then i actually enhanced it more to accommodate for the million users but here's the catch many of the times interviewer will just stop you and will target you on a particular section to dive deep into it and most important thing don't try to skip it as soon as possible to complete the design try to explain as much as possible on this deep dive because interview is trying to list out the positive and negative on your end more you deep dive properly more the positive outcome will be there for you and in many of the cases even if your design is correct interview will just try to give you more feedback in the positive manner and just try to see whether you are actually accepting those feedbacks or not those are really important because they look out that this candidate is a team player or not in my round also they were seen when interview gave me two feedback positive feedback that hey we can include this also in the design right to actually improve it and I actually acknowledge it and interview was very happy that i acknowledged and introduced that because sometimes many of the candidate actually don't just say yeah we can include it and don't actually include in the design that's like a negative point and it can cost you rejection also so yeah um, at the end my focus was to complete the design anyhow whether interviewer asked me 10 question 20 question the dive deep right and i did that i was really happy that at the end of the 5 minutes i completed the design also once all the interview loop was completed so there and they have some debrief thing where all the interview will get accumulated and uh, they will show the positive negative side of yours for each round and then they will decide whether you will get the offer or not so after around a 4 to 5 days recruiter reach out to me that i am selected i was really happy team was already shortlisted so it was all about the compensation that was remaining and one thing i really need to tell you that in doordash has really really high bar for india also they are very selective on selecting the candidates and i was really happy that i cracked it talking about the compensation structure of doordash typically different from other companies fan companies because they focus on your base salary and you will have some stock structure which will be a 40 30 20 10 ratio they will not have any performance bonus structure in your compensation it depends on like whether you have the competing offer or not based on that you will get the joining bonus also but yeah regarding the performance bonus you will have some kind of a rating at the end of the year based on that you will get some percentage of hike as well as like plenty of stocks so doordash focus more on stock side rather than on cash component so that is the compensation structure the numbers that they offered to me was typically low as compare as i expected it to be because in the form i felt a quite good number which i expected because they move forward after that only so i tried to negotiate with them but they didn't budge on it and i was really irritated because they literally offered 3 cr in usa for sd2 role very less here like 16th year so it should not be the case i really liked doordash because if you will see the growth they had in the past 3 years their stock went from 40 dollars to 200 dollars so whoever joined in 2022 they are actually the millionaire now so that is the scene their culture is really amazing and their growth strategy is really amazing and that's why i was really excited about it but when i listened to the compensation i was a little sad one more thing i was expecting it to be more job but comes out that it's an uh, work from office policy is there for 3 day in pune so that was also the main point for rejecting the offer talking about my preparation strategy for coding round it's a straight ds rounds so you need to focus more on what type of questions doordash is asking so you need to check lead code discuss section first then figure out the topics generally they focus on dp graph binary search and binary search tree binary tree these are the topics that are generally covered and they generally ask medium to hard and more on a hard level side so focus on that uh, talking about my system design preparation strategy what i did was listed down the questions from multiple companies so i had like about 20 questions around and i focused them very thoroughly and i observed the patterns in them that this type of question can be solved through this way if it's infra it should be solved through this way if it's click aggregate it should be solved through some other way apart from that i read completely alex system design interview book and mention my link in the bio 
I also went through designing data intensive application book. It's a like must read for anyone who are not preparing also. It's a very good book. And generally I used to interview experiences and figure out the questions and try to come up with the prob- uh, solution on my end. System design and DAs like is mostly everything is about how much practice you do and how much clarity do you have. And after ChatGPT, it's very, very easy to actually prepare. ChatGPT is my mentor for DSA also and system design also. So I used to draw a design and go to ChatGPT and ask for improvement on that. That is one more thing that I actually used while my preparation. And let me know in the comments if you have any other questions or any other videos or do you need. And yeah, till then, see you in another interview experience and tech more videos.